Hello everybody, Sean here, and we're looking at the old Dragon Slayer boss in the Cathedral of the Blue in Dark Souls 2. And the old Dragon Slayer actually looks quite a lot like a former boss in Dark Souls 1. I'm not going to give away too many of the details, but longtime fans should recognize him almost immediately. Uh, unlike Dark Souls 1 though, uh, this Dragon Slayer, a lot easier to deal with, much tamer. Uh, certainly not going to put his spear through your chest like his counterpart did in the first one. Uh, the old Dragon Slayer in this one, like I said, tamer, easier to deal with, and that is because he has a glaring weakness, and that he is right-handed, which isn't the weakness, but is the fact that most of his attacks are thrusting-based, so he thrusts forward from his right hand, meaning his left side, as you can see right here, is often left exposed, and it's very easy to dodge his attacks. He does have a few sweeping attacks, and uh, he does have a couple lunges that, like that right there, uh, where he can hit you, uh, even if you are dodging continually, but on the whole, you're generally going to be able to avoid everything just by simply circling around him at all times. Keep your shield up. The only other thing to really take note of during this fight is that he can cast that dark magic that you just saw. Very rarely will he do that, and because it has a multiple second charge animation, all you need to do is back yourself up. The wave is bigger than the actual hitbox for that attack, so even if the wave washes over you as you just saw it do to me, it won't actually hit you. You do have to be a little closer. You can always have your shield up when that wave is coming. It will block a little bit, but at this point in the game, it's very unlikely that you have a shield that is very powerful uh, in the in the regard of blocking dark magic spells like that. Otherwise, you're just going to want to keep circling him, hit him on his left side. If you are a magic user, you're probably going to want to basically act as if you were a melee uh, character. Stay in close, because at long distances, he will just close the gap on you by constantly lunging. If you stay in close, you can circle around and then just cast your magic from point-blank range, just as if you were using a sword, but instead you're slinging spells. Hope this helps you kill the old Dragon Slayer. I thank you for watching. And we'll see everyone next time.